thank you for joining in. We've got another final here at the ISSF World Cup in Cairo, Egypt 2024. And the last one for today. My name is Martina Lucic and I'll be here with you throughout the whole competition. Yesterday was a long day of finals, both in the final hall as well as the shotgun range. Today we're only hanging out here in the Olympic City Shooting Range final hall. Third day of the competition, last moment for air gun events as we're going to moving uh, be moving on to the 25 and the 50 meter events tomorrow. But right now, it's time for Air Rifle Women event. The women will be coming out very soon. The men had a great thrill. If you've missed any of the finals, you can find them on the YouTube or Facebook official page of ISSF. And I would highly recommend going and watching the men's finals as it was a really great great thrill but only after this one is finished because we expect a lot from this one as well it's the first ISSF World Cup of this year 2024 the Olympic year and it's a big year for these athletes Olympics is just around the corner and every shot counts every final every competition all of it is bringing us to the Paris Games in late July. It's time for the Air Rifle Women event. Two series of five shots after a few minutes of preparation time. Then we go on to the single shots where the lowest ranking finalist falls out after every two shots. We know the drill. This is the Air Rifle. It's going to be the last air gun competition that we have in uh, this ISSF World Cup. Usually the first day is reserved for air pistol and so it was here as well. Then the mixed team event and then finally for the last air gun competition it's the day for air rifle which is just today. Here are the eight who will be seeing in the finals Norway, Korea, Poland, India, Germany, Japan with the start taking the lead after qualification with 633.9. In the men's event, the Indian athlete Panvar won the gold medal and uh, made it to a world, new world record. So we're expecting to see some interesting uh, finals from the women. From the women as well. The chief range officer is telling that the range is ready, meaning that the athletes will come out just about now. 66 world countries are gathered here in Cairo to start off the season. Some of the athletes are here for the finals, some of their some of them are here for ranking points. And the ranking points are only for the quota plays, the last moment to win a quota after the World Cup in Munich. If uh, the country still has a place for the quota and if the athlete is high up on the rank to get that quota. So we've seen that uh, many times over and over again in qualification and then sometimes it's great for the ninth one or the tenth one who wouldn't initially get into the finals unless there was someone who was shooting RPO in short ranking points only. The ladies are out. They have uh, set their equipment before the final. And now they just need to set up and get ready for the five minute sighting time. Some of the athletes we've already seen in the mixed team events. Some of them are going to see here for the first time. Not for the first time ever, though. But for the first time in this World Cup. So the five minutes have started. And we're going to get to know the athletes a little bit better throughout these five minutes. At least I will tell you all there is to say, just to know where we're standing with the competition, who might be the favorites. 
and who might be surprising us. That happens too. This is Sonam Uttam Maskar. She was fifth after the qualification. The 21-year-old won a mixed silver medal yesterday with Arjun Babuta against Great Britain's Shauna McIntosh and Dean Bale. This is her first Senior World Cup and the second time she qualified to be in the finals yesterday in the mixed team. Today, again, now for the individual competition. Kwan Undi, 21-year-old from Korea. She was seventh in Tokyo. Her only World Cup medal is a silver from Beijing in uh, 2019. So five years ago now already have gone. She's only 21, which means she started off pretty young and pretty early. And winning the uh, big events, big medals. Anita Mangold, the 34-year-old first individual final at the World Cup, but we did see her before that in the finals when she won a team gold back in Rio's World Cup in 2022. So this is her first time as an individual, but not a first time in a big final hall such as this one. Here is Jeanette Hegdustad, European uh, champion of last year. She has three individual World Cup golds in the last, in just the last two years. One in Rio last year and then Cairo and Rio two years ago in 2022. Here's her, her coach as well. She was shooting in the mixed team event yesterday with uh, Jan Hermann Haig. The 20 year old Nancy, she just won the Asian Championship in Jakarta. I would say a couple of weeks ago. And last year in Baku, she won a silver medal at the World Cup. Next up is the World Cup final gold medalist of uh, last year, the last competition that finalizes everything in uh, Doha, Qatar. She won the gold and in the meantime in the last three years she has won three World Cup individual medals. One in New Delhi in 2021 a bronze medal. One in Baku a silver medal two years ago and then in Jakarta last year a silver medal. Anna Janssen, the 22 year old from Germany, the start lost to Janssen in the mixed team event yesterday. Janssen has won the World Cup final here in Cairo in 22. She's won five World Cups in her career and all in the last two years. Two of those medals are individuals, but uh, all of them required finals, all of them required her to be a good teammate and to be a good athlete. Last but not least, 20-year-old. We have a couple of 20-year-olds here today. Misaki Nobata from Japan. This is her second final at the World Cup in her career in Jakarta. She was uh, actually fourth. No World Cup medals hanging among her achievements just yet, but that might change today. So these are the eight as we know them now. India, Korea, Germany, Norway, Poland, and Japan. And it's time for the presentation.
we've met the athletes. Now the audience is going to meet the athletes, but uh, a big chunk of this audience already knows the athletes and came to support their teammates. It's a very young crowd here today. Even in the men's event, more or less everyone was in their early 20s. And uh, that's more or less what's happening here as well. Mascot is 21. Uh, Kwan Unji, also 21 year old. Yet she managed to already be at the Olympics. She was in Tokyo and, well, seventh. And she was in the finals of the Olympic Games. Now she's in the finals of the season opener of the Olympic year here at the ISSF World Cup in Cairo. Anita Mangold. She doesn't have as much as experience as, as some of the other athletes that we have here today, but she's got some life experience. We'll see how that uh, comes in handy. 25-year-old Jeanette Hektistad of Norway. Maybe she'll have uh, more luck today. As yesterday didn't go so well in the mixed team event for Dustad. Indian athlete Nancy. She's a regular at uh, the finals and World Cups, so we're not surprised to see her here. Here's Aneta Stenkiewicz, a 28-year-old. Also a regular at the finals. And very recognizable. I don't think she's going to change that uh, purple color. It always kind of suits her just right and uh, you can recognize her from, from afar. Anna Janssen. Good going yesterday with Maximilian Ulbricht winning the bronze medal in the mixed team event against Norway. Shooting right yesterday, we'll see about today. And once again, Misaki Nobata, fourth in Jakarta. She came close to the podium. Mahala <laughs> Savi from Egypt is going to be the jury in charge of this final. We have to meet the officials as well. <laughs> and I love the Mr. Wifuchs from Germany, the chief range officer, calling on every second here. Deciding on the timing and uh, the main man to decide on anything that goes on in here. The world record was broken in the 10 meter air rifle men's event that we had at uh, 145 local time here. Today. Now it's time for the ladies to show what they've got. In, uh, in this competition. It's time for the first series. First series of five. Stop. Are going to start. Panwar was first after qualification and he finished with a gold medal and a world record. His total after qualification was 632.4 while in the women's competition, in the women's qualification, the top result was Dustad's 633.9. 
nine. So the women had a stronger qualification score, and it was four of them, Dustad, Kwon Unji, Stankiewicz, and Nancy, that went over 633 today. So by the scores, we should expect and could expect some uh, great results and uh, some great shots in this final. Starting off pretty nice and strong, 10.7 from Dustad, Stankiewicz coming in to a 10.7 as well. Masker is there. They're already showing some promising scores, even though we have a couple of nines there from Kwon Unji and uh, Anne Anson. Nabata out into a slim 10 as well. Mascar definitely showed up uh, as, a, as a bit of a surprise as her first senior World Cup and already she has done it two times in a row, twice, yesterday and today, getting into the finals, only 21. And Anson. It's a 10.8, redeeming her, herself from that 9.9 .9 I think she had. The rhythm of the women is pretty similar, so they're all on shot number three. Now they're getting into the fourth one. Bata and Stakievich, Mangold hitting a 10.5. That was Nancy and uh, Janssen. Stakievich right next to her. Another slim 10 from uh, Nancy now. The scores are good. They're not going above and beyond Masker now with a 10.9. Of course, the commentators curse. That's how it goes. Hopefully, they get into the zone a bit more in the next series, but they are finishing pretty nicely with a 10.9 from Mascar, 10.7 Mangold to start with a 10.8 there, Janssen 10.7, so it's a good finish so far, a total of the higher ranking Mascar is a 53.0 which is a pretty strong half a round More or less what uh, the athletes were shooting was somewhere around 105 per series of 10 in the qualification. So if they can hold that up in the finals, that's, uh, that's ideal. Going beyond that, where Masker is heading with her 53 points, might keep her in the lead. Here's the president of the Egyptian and African Shooting Federation, Mr. Hazem Hosni. She started with a 10.3. She is down in the rank with Kwon Nabata. Janssen out into a 9.8. Askar as well. Kwon Unji might be climbing up with that 10.9. Just that was not happy. With a 10.0. 10.1. Yeah, 
these cores are a bit more on the slimmer side, slimmer tens. They do get to jump in here and there into a stronger 10, but so far it hasn't been the strongest of 10s. That might change. They might thrive in the single shots. After this round of five, we go on to single shots, two at a time in a time of 50 seconds. After each two, the lowest ranking finalist falls out of the finals and uh, we find ourselves with the last two standing fighting for gold at the season opener of ISSF World Cups. They are showing up with the a few 10.9s. Now a Mangold had a 10.9 as well. Stankiewicz looked like she decided not to shoot this one. Sometimes it's uh, hard to get the perfect vision, the perfect picture you want to have, which is aligning the concentric circles from the sights and the targets and hitting basically a dot on a paper, which is a 10, 10 meters away. Stand. Shoots another 10.5. Those are two in a row. Nobata finished first. She is uh, holding the third position right behind Mangold. Now she's fallen down to the fourth place after Dustad. I'd say the scores are getting better and better. Anything above a 10.5 is a pretty good shot as you want to keep that stability to come to a series of uh, 105 or above if, if possible. Janssen got out of her stance. She's right next to Sankiewicz, who just shot a 10.7. And as you can see, the scores were tight in the men's event, but here it's almost no difference between the second and the seventh athlete. I mean, the only bigger difference is between Mascar in the first place and Nobata, and even that difference isn't that great. It's only 0.6. So I don't, I don't think we can assume in this moment who might even be in the danger zone. It's more or less everyone from the everyone actually from the first to the last position I was expecting the men's event to be a very tight fight but it looks like this one is going to be even tighter Yeah, now we're seeing some scores. 10.7 from Nancy. The highest one in this round. She's holding the second position. She was down in the rank and now back up. You can see that, uh, well, that's what happens when the differences are so, so slim. Here's some statistics from Mangold. She's been going a little bit up and down. 
not too consistent, and she is in the red zone, if we can even call it that. It's only 0.2 of a difference, but she is holding the eighth position right now. Six is tied. Uh, Nabata and Stankiewicz, no place for any kind of error right now. Anybody who shoots a lower score gets out of the final immediately. Nancy, 10.2. 10.3 from Dustad. Nobody's safe. Nabata in a 10.9. What a moment. Janssen as well. And it's going to be a decision based on point one of a difference. And we're only at the first elimination. The eighth place goes to the German, Anita Mangold, the 34-year-old's first individual final at the World Cup. And she was holding up pretty well. That difference was nothing to go out like that. Here it is. We're seeing some point two and point threes of a difference, but the top is taken by Janssen and Masker. And a little bit of a difference there with Nobata and uh, Stankiewicz coming in. To start on Nancy, the next two Shots are going to be nerve-wracking, and we're only at the beginning. Here are Janssen's stats. She had that nine over there, you can see in the sixth shot. But the rest of it, she's kept pretty close to a 10.5. And that's, uh, that's kept her up in the rank sharing the first position with Mascar, who is definitely a nice surprise in the Indian team. She hasn't been uh, showing up in the senior competitions so far in the finals, and all of a sudden, there she is. Two days in a row, she hits a 10.9 now and takes over the lead from Janssen for a difference of 0.2. But if we go down the rank, uh, we can see that it's a pretty tight one still between uh, Dustad, Nancy, Sagievich. I would say even Kwan Undi. It's going to be, yeah, between the four of them, more or less. Dustad has been uh, pretty consistent, pretty stable. Around the 10.5, but. Uh, it's one hell of a final. And the ladies have to go above and beyond in this one. And I guess it's a, it's a perfect day for rifle. Because this is exactly what we saw in uh, the men's event. Not exactly, though. The women are even tighter with the scores than the men were. But the scores were pretty high. And the... Women are hitting 10.9s as if it was nothing. One right after the other to start out into a nine and that's probably gonna cost her a place in, uh, in the final. Yeah, she knows it already. Yesterday wasn't a good day for the start as well. She lost uh, the mixed team event against Germany alongside her teammate Jan Hermann Haig. Now it's going to be the seventh place for the Norwegian. Yeah, no place for error today. Absolutely. Point one of a difference between Kwon Unji and uh, Neta Stekiewicz. Then a bit of a bigger difference of, oh wow, point two between Stekiewicz and Nobata. So as you've seen, it's going to be another tough two shots. Another nail-biting moment.
for everybody. Oh. Nancy has had a couple of these uh, lower tens, but still in a in a pretty nice uh, zone. Didn't go too low. Not keeping her in the third place. She's half a point behind her teammate, Mascar. Another great shot from Nancy, 10.8. She's not messing around. Juan with a 10.3 and Stankiewicz up into a 10.7. Is that gonna be a shoot off? Yeah, absolutely. One. I have, uh, <laughs> I'm one step ahead, maybe, we'll see. They still have one more, one more shot to shoot. But currently, Nobata and Kwon and Dewey are completely tied. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens after the next one. I'm still pretty sure there's going to be at least one shoot off in this competition. Because the differences are just so slim. Janssen and uh, Masker are tied at the top. Kwan and Nobata are tied at the bottom. And you can see it was a pretty good roll for, for Kwan Unji. Even though she's at the bottom of the rank right now, she's been shooting pretty great. Nancy has given it, has been giving it all. 10.7 now. Kwon got out of the danger zone with a 10.8, just like that. Now tying with Sankievich and uh, letting Misaki Nobata take the sixth place. The 20-year-old second final at the World Cup in Jakarta. She was fourth. Now she ended up in the sixth place. But this is a memorable one, I have to say. I think everybody's going to uh, remember this final. Sankiewicz and Kwon Unji are now tied. And uh, they have two more shots to go through for the decision of the fifth place. Masker and Nancy are tied as well, and Janssen is leading. The four other women by a difference of only 0.2. So the next two shots, gonna turn things around probably, as they have been <laughs> so far. Sankiewicz, 10.8, and she climbs up. Letting uh, Kwan Unji now take the danger zone place, the red zone place. Only 0.1 of a difference. It can still be basically any one of the five. Of course, Sankiewicz uh, and Kwon Unji are kind of there, down in the rank, but it depends on their, on their next shot. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Uh, 
on Onji, Stankiewicz and Nancy. More or less, but then Janssen and uh, Maska are a bit more in the safe zone. But we'll see. Everybody should get 10.3 so far. Oh, this is just amazing. This is just amazing. Not many things have changed as they all had a, a bit of a slimmer 10. So, Quan kind of ended staying there in, in the fifth place. If she had a stronger 10, she might have gotten herself out of that situation, even maybe taken over the lead. But in this way, the 21-year-old leaves the finals in the fifth place. Kwan Unji from Korea. And the differences are just wild, wild how close they are. So we don't, we don't really know. There are three places on the podium and four women in front of us here at the ISSF World Cup in Kaido 2024. A really exciting final, I have to say. Next two should give us a decision of the three places on the podium. Janssen hits a 10.8. What a moment. Mascar a 10.7. Let's see Stankiewicz 10.6. It's uh, very close between her and Nancy. She managed to get that 0.1 in this shot. But there's still 0.1 of a difference between her and uh, Nancy in the third place. Now the difference is a bit higher between Nancy and uh, Mascar. But I think that uh, they're all kind of breathing each down each other's necks. Right now, you don't know which way it's going to go. But saying that, if you look at the stats of Janssen, she's been going at it pretty hard. Going up and beyond over 10.5, 90% of the time, if not even more. She won a bronze medal yesterday in the mixed team event. Maybe she's feeling uh, feeling good. But let's see the shot. Janssen, 10.8. She is continuing on. 10.8 from Stankiewicz. That is probably going to save her. Yep, climbing up just enough to push Nancy in the fourth place. That was a true battle. And then to end up in the fourth place, that must have hurt. But, you know, when you're an athlete, you have to learn how to win and you have to learn how to lose. And this was a final that was just, just amazing. Nancy, the 20 year old, she just won the world, uh, the Asian Championship in Jakarta a few weeks ago. She came in here, battled it out. It was a strong fight. She stayed as uh, long as she could. But that's it. Now we get to find out the bronze, the silver, and the gold medal in the next potentially in the next four shots, if there is no shoot-off. We'll see. Janssen has been shooting amazing shots and holding herself at the top of the rank, holding down the fourth. Oh, wow, to a 10.3. That might push her down a bit. 
but as Sankiewicz shoots the same, the difference only changes between Mascar and Janssen. She's managed to make the difference a bit smaller and come closer to Janssen. Now pushing some pressure onto her from, uh, from the other side of the room. Now I think this is one of the biggest differences we've seen in this final so far. A point seven between Stankiewicz and Maskar. And there is one more shot left for the decision of a bronze medal. Stankiewicz was, uh, as you can see in the stats, somewhere around that 10.5 for the whole time. So the average kind of did fall onto onto that. Ten point seven from Janssen. Mascari ten point three, Stankiewicz a ten point four, but I don't think there was uh, there was really any Yeah, any place for Stankiewicz to try and climb up, especially with Masker not giving in and uh, shooting really good shots, even uh, even if they're not the strongest of the tens. Aneta Stankiewicz wins the bronze medal. The Polish 28-year-old uh, won the World Cup final, the last World Cup of last year in Doha. And now she's on the podium again for the season opener of World Cups of 2024. And we're left with the two standing, Janssen and Mascar. 0.6 of a difference between the two ladies. That's a good advantage for the German Anna Janssen, a 22-year-old shooting against uh, Basically a first-timer in a senior competition. Janssen has had uh, much more experience. She has three World Cup individual medals. Two of them are gold medals. One of them is a 10-meter event. 10.9 from Janssen. She's on a roll. She's going for it. She increased the lead. And you can see that's just wild. She's been doing in the final today. We are ready for the last shot of the final. Shot for the gold. Stop. 50 seconds on the clock. It's between Janssen and Maskar. The difference of 0.8. To stay focused, Janssen's finger on the trigger. Maskar as well, tapping it slightly. Janssen pulling, finding the perfect picture and she hits a 10.5 wins the gold medal her second one in the 10 meter events first one was in uh, Rio back in 22 now it's uh, two years apart she gets the gold and the season opener of uh, the Olympic year there's a hug between Stankiewicz and Janssen and I have to say Masker um, can absolutely be proud with the silver. This was her first senior World Cup, first time to compete in uh, a final amongst these seniors. Only 21. Oh, what a final today. What a final today with the women and the men. Absolutely amazing.
Let's see them here one more time. Bronze medalist of Poland, Aneta Stankiewicz. Silver medalist of India, Sanam Utam Maskar. And the gold medal, Anna Janssen, representing Germany in this uh, World Cup. Stay with us. We're gonna, we're gonna try and catch these ladies for a bit of a chat. And uh, yeah, it was an exciting, exciting day with the men's finals and now with the women's finals. Absolutely incredible. Stay with us. Let's see what they have to say.